Okay, another property of the Riemann integrals. This is one of the yourself if you want that is actually coming from my previous video that I tested at here. So that the lower in lower Riemann integral of f is less than or equal to the upper Um, we are going to use it in a moment. The other property that I will show in this video is this one. Let f be a function, a bonded function on the closed interval a, b, right? Then f is integrable if and only if for each epsilon greater than zero, this is greater, not, not greater than or equal, it's greater than zero, there exists a partition p such that in, in in between the interval such that we will have that the upper sum of the partition minus the lower sum of the same partition in in, in this function is less than the, the, the epsilon okay because this is an if and only if we need to test it in both sides let's start from the beginning from from one of the sides Suppose that f is integrable. If it is integrable, basically this is a, a strong assumption that the, the lower integral of f is the same as the upper integral of f. If we give an epsilon greater than zero, there exists a partition p in the interval such that the lower <laughs> a sum of this partition p sub one is greater than the, the lower integral minus something. This something is epsilon divided by two. We divide it by two just by, for convenience later in the function, right? In the equation. Just let's recall something. Remember that the lower sum, lower sum is the supreme, is the maximum value that I can have from any of the partition that we can, any combination of the partition that we can have for this function. So if we remove something for the smallest that we have, something to this supreme, basically this is the supreme of the lower sum, then it means that L, the, the lower, I mean, this part will not be the supreme value anymore, will not be the maximum lower sum values that we, we, we could have. So there must be a partition, P sub one, who this lower sum is the maximum. In this case, we can guarantee that this is greater than the, the other part, right? We, we also know that the, the lower sum is the summatory of the distance of the interval multiply it by the maximum of the evaluation of the function, right? I'm sorry, the minimum, this is the minimum because this is the lower sum. Maximum is for the upper sum. So, for, for the same thing for P2 in the interval, the closed interval, that we have in this case, the upper sum of P2 is less than the upper the upper interval f plus something if we have if we assume that the the upper interval is the infimum right the infimum upper sum that we can have if we add something it means that we will for sure will have another that is less than the infimum plus something because it's not anymore a bond so now what now we have two partitions if we get the union of these two partitions let's say p then p is a refinement of these two partitions right then if it's a refinement we just tested here before that if whenever we have a refinement right 
we will have that the refinement is in between the the other the lower and the upper sum of the other partitions, right? We just tested that in another video. You can check that. Now what? Now we, we have that the upper sum of P minus the lower sum of P is less than is less than and we, we, we tested I show it in the other video that the upper sum of P2 minus the lower sum of P1, right? But what is this? We just define it here that they will be for the lower sum they basically will be less than um, the, the lower sum the partition will be greater than the low the lower integral minus the epsilon minus two right in this case we have this part for the upper sum is the opposite part which we have it here we substitute and we basically guarantee that this this difference is greater than the the previous one right however if we do basically we remove these breaks we will have that the upper integral is less than is basically the same as the lower integral so this subtraction will be zero and finally we will have epsilon so we te we basically prove it one way right now what happened in com in the other side conversely given now we start by we have an epsilon greater than, than zero then let's suppose that there exists a partition p in this interval such that we have the property right that the upper sum of this partition is less than the lower sum of the partition plus an epsilon then basically we have that the upper integral of f is less than of or equal to the upper sum of the partition on the function f minus um, less than the lower sum of the partition plus an epsilon right which is at the same time in less than or equal to the lower sum uh, the lower integral plus an epsilon so basically is basically the same that we did um, previously but starting from the opposite side so by number two what is the number two is is the, the this function that we just assume that is true I encourage you to do the proof for this one. The lower integral of S is less than the upper integral of S. So less than or equal. So in this case, we are also assuming that we, the function is integrable. So then they must be equal. There therefore, the, basically, this is why they are in, integrable. 